Even was back on track, more determined than ever to save whoever and whatever she could from that horrible queen, which is great. That's a story I'm much more interested in. And on the other side of that long abandoned and silent door was Even's destiny, whatever it would turn out to be. And she strode towards it with determination. Since forever. Oh, Oi, you there. Yeah, you. I saw you. You came through that block gate somehow. That's against the rules, kid. Whole structure's been legally reclassified as a wall, not a door. How oh, I've got a point. That's against the rules. Oh, sure. A little girl with a dice. It's real, isn't it? You've got a real dice there. Admit it. That's what real dice do. Guards! Guards! <laughs>
town was bustling with life. Even at this late hour, perhaps the townspeople would have something interesting to share. You're closer, even. Closer than you ever were. Come, find me. I've heard that voice before. It feels familiar somehow. I, I must have dreamt it. Had she, though? Well, it was impossible for me to confirm, since we narrators never got to see what's going on inside our characters' dreams. Third person, omniscient narrator, my eye. Find your voice. Salutations, even. I am the visionary. And I you, or rather, I will. Time is never so linear. I have watched you for a very long time. And I knew you would come here, to me. This all seemed a bit unlikely to even. Ooh, maybe this strange, floaty person was lying. I mean, uh, probably he was. Please, you're not the only one who can see things even can't. <gasps> Never mind, even. I should not have addressed him. Time is short, so I will be uncharistically direct. I am one of the sacred card makers. There were five of us once. There are five still now. We used to make every type of card imaginable. Together, we cared for this part of random, this five tropolis until the Queen banned all dice, and with them the unleashing of creativity. Now we are bound to do the Queen's bidding. With your dice, you have the power to defeat the Queen and set things right. The rules that have strangled random for years must be erased, and true randomness must return. But... The future moves, changes. You are a crisis even, and an opportunity for both sides. I cannot see clearly through the rug weave, but I can tell you this. In order to defeat the queen, you need a very special card. 
Find the other card makers, free them, and we will unite to make you a card that will shake the foundations of Sixtopia. We will make for you your dream card. Follow my vision to the second of the card makers, the painter. And take this. It might come in handy. This is, uh, uh, are you sure you don't need this? A visionary does not need mere eyes to see more. Now go, I have interfered enough. Uh, right. The visionary seemed credible, or even incredible. And yes, maybe he could see things that he shouldn't be able to. And yes, that was alarming, but even knew the difference between novelty and fear. She pushed on towards the painter. Dicey had set foot in five tropolis. Here, in the magical heart of random, is where the cards used to shape the very face of the world were made. But it had long since decayed into little more than a cold and dreary factory, used for purposes far less enchanting.
I'm busy. And I'm the king of freedom. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Always busy. That's what they all say. No scram. Lesson well, because I'm only going to say this once. We can't win. You know why? Because the Queen has already won. That means we lose, King. We lost, and we lose, and we keep losing until she decides she's tired of winning, which is never. Oh, I've seen your coin before. Convinced that you're different. Oh, you're special, and that if you could just reach her, you'll fix it all. Heck, I've even helped. You know what happens? You lose hard, and I'm still trapped here, forced to paint mad inventions for the Queen instead of the magical cards I used to love. All that changes is that you die a little sooner than otherwise and my heart breaks a little more and I'm tired of it. So no, I'm not helping you. Now if you please, scram! Dicey? Oh my, where did you find that? This, this changes everything. A moment, love. There, perfection. For what? Me painting your dream card? Least I could do, child. Frankly, it was a joy to paint something other than a dreadful robot for once. Oh, there'll be heck to pay once the Queen finds out. But you're going to reach her before that happens, won't you? Oh, I know you will, love. Your dream card, it's now off to the gluer. He's next in line. An old colleague and a card maker. Perhaps the most important of all. Is there anything else you'd like to know, love? Well, the painter had done all she could. And now, even was off to the gluer, who, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, might be in a sticky situation himself. Even found herself moving ever closer to the darkened heart of Five Tropolis. Wherever the gluer was, he was... I just suddenly felt weirdly alone. In a way I can't explain. If that makes sense. Lucky I have you. I feel like someone just walked over my grave. I've got a bad feeling, Dicey. The foolish girl was far from home. She knew she made a mistake. She felt like giving up forever. I don't know what it is, Dicey. I just feel odd. Tired all of a sudden.
Raven was beginning to feel so very tired. What was she even doing here? She should just go home and die. I won't. The view was as beautiful as it was hopeless. And it underlined the one universal truth. Even could never defeat the Queen. She'd sooner topple a mountain with her breath than succeed. The card makers had given her a hopeless task. And the fools risked in efforts, full of sound and fury, would amount to nothing. Even knew the fight was doomed. She should just give up and die right now. What an awful person she was. She decided to lie down and die right away. Oh. I don't know, Dicey. Just a random bad mood, I guess. Oi, oi, 
Push it, Oya. Will you come to the rope like that?
heavens and jumping pipsmen might be glad to be out of there. What took the others so long to send you, lamb? I've never been in such a dreary... Oh, hold on a pip. That's a dice. Charmed, I'm sure. Now, I haven't seen a dice in ages. Does my heart good to see a live one out and about? It really does. And I'm glad to see you two have stuck together. Oh, just some glue humor. <laughs> the best kind, in my considered opinion. In fact, I'd say it's super, super glue. <laughs> Look, I've been alone for a long time. Oh, you've come further than anyone has come before, Lamb. Oh, then, then they've become the manufacturer of a card for you. Knock me down. They have. Oh, indeed. So it shall, Lamb. I shall help you. <laughs> yes, our last chance. Our last card. Our last heist. Let's do this. Oh, semantics, semantics. Come on, Lamb, don't ruin this for me. There's been precious little drama in my life of late. I need this. You'd be surprised how boring it is in a cell. Why, I'd be bored to death if I didn't have this glue secreting from my face to entertain me. Oh, better not stick around, lamb. The alchemist does not like to wait. Maybe my biggest. Steel. The 
It's you! Even was never going to win, and she finally admitted that to herself. She already knew in her heart that her dreams were a lost cause. Oh, I feel sick, Dicey. You're right. I know you're right. But I just have this sudden, inexplicable sense of dread. You know? Oi, oi! Looking to get an invincibility potion, are you? Hello? Alchemist, uh, sir? Um, hello? I don't know, Dicey. Alchemist is supposed to be. It may have looked like he even knew what she was doing, but it was all a bluff, and she was going to get mortally wounded any second now. Oh, jeez!
Hey there, little one. Can you talk? Have you seen an alchemist around here somewhere? I dare say I have, little one. Every time I look in a mirror... You're the alchemist! Indeed I am, and I'd have thought the visionary would have sent a more impressive champion than you! Ah yes, the impertinence of youth. It's been a while since I've seen it, and I see you have a little dice. I'm not impressed. There's a lot more to being a dice wielder than merely wielding dice. I don't suppose you've learnt that yet. Oh, believe me, there's no right foot here. I don't suffer fools or children. You are both! Ah, let me tell you what I do here. I take raw materials, ingredients, tinctures, essences, and use them to enable cards to do what they must. These days, of course, the Queen has us only making her cards, and for that I need only medals. Those are supplied by the garbage shipped from one croft. Ah, you're a wanner. In that case, yes, they have. You and your family's whole purpose has been to supply the raw materials to build the very robots that subjugate the rest of Random. It's probably very depressing, even enraging, to find this out. All of you, made into unwitting collaborators of the Queen. Well, buck up. I shan't have you crying in my office. Now, I suppose you want me to make you a card to use in battle against said queen. I don't doubt it. The visionary always did move in baffling yet eventually correct ways. Well, you know the queen dwells in Sixtopia, don't you? Again, rude! So then you must also know that Sixtopia is cut off from the rest of Random. You can't get there from here. From anywhere. I don't even know you. You're a little kid. I don't see why I should help you do anything. Your sister was taken by the Queen. Then your sister may no longer be recognizable as the woman she once was. And even if she is, she will not want to return. But as for the second half of your quest, it is noble, if impossible and foolish. And yet, and yet the others have helped you. The painter and gluer I could take or leave, but the visionary, he has earned my respect. And if he sees something in you that I don't, and I should trust his vision. Very well. I will help construct your card. Your so-called dream card. Of course you would. You're a kid. But that's not what you'll get. Now, step back. Ah, there it is. Petal timing. Now, give me a lock of your hair. Ow! Please. Magic and science, they both have their costs. Now we need something from your hometown. Now, this was surrounded by its garbage. I don't have a problem. And finally... Perfect! As always, I might add. Just like a fool and a child to wait around when there's work to be done. Go! 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 Your cart went that way! Now you need to follow it! What are you waiting for? Wait! No! The silly little girl was far from home, and she missed it terribly. 
she should turn around right now and give up. Oh, I really miss my parents, Dicey. <laughs> oh, I know, but, but I still miss them. Hello? Even! I found this weird thing that lets me talk to voices. I call it a talkie-walkie. I've heard lots of people through it, and now I get to hear... even remembered how she was bad at everything. She started to lose the fight right away. Oh. I hear you, Dicey. I'll get through it.
even was horrid and nobody liked her. The end. Well, I don't know what's going on, Dicey. I feel... I feel like garbage all of a sudden. Oh, Dicey, you're pretty great too. Thanks, buddy.
healthage. Come on, Rule Master, you can do this! You're the best, remember? The best! You can do the impossible five times before breakfast. And then the queen asks for six. Even. Even. Yes! Every even roll gets a plus one bonus against every odd roll. That'll... Wait, no. That just turns all even rolls into odd rolls. Oh, never mind. Wait, who are you? You're the one with the card, right? Even something? The alchemist told me you'd be coming. And I'm sorry even with the card, but I've simply got too much to do to help you. Oh, of that I have no doubt. Everything around me is double plus important, do yesterday sort of stuff. Look at this. New layouts for her twisted arenas. Do ASAP, of course. New mechanics for the battles due last week, assigned yesterday. Five. Five new robots with complementary battlebot attack structures! And you try telling the queen, or her bloody nanny, or even those deadly three heads, that they ask for the impossible. Ha! I may be an ancient mystic trained in the art of crazy rules more than anyone else in all of history, but even I'm not a god. I've come to accept that now. But does she care? Tell me, does she? Correct! She does not! <sighs> Look, your card has arrived in here somewhere, and I'll get to it when I can. Oh, you've seen him too? What's that bloody cosmic potato come up with this time? Let's take a look at your card. Oh, perfect. Just perfect! As if I didn't have enough insanity on my plate already. Ooh, but then I do love a challenge. So, what the heck? I'll do it. When I'm done, I'm going to send the card to the highest point in all of five Tropolis. The top of the giant chimney. Ha! You'll be dead in minutes. You need the five of us card makers there with the card if you want any chance of success. Up there, me and the other card makers will imbue the card with all our creative spark. But the ceremony cannot be interrupted. Ethan, just meet us at the top of the smokestack. The card will be there. Assuming this works, you'll have bigger things to worry about real soon. Yes. No. Yes. There. I mean, I guess it could work. Well, what's done is done. Now hurry. I'll be right with you. insurrection all around her. But now, this vile, hateful creature was on her way to discover why she should have respected her equals. And never... Even! Over here! The ceremony begins. There is others coming, friends. Lots of others. Mm -hmm. Keep them back. We need to focus. Child, cover us! Head to the end of this story, shall we? Oh, look at that! It says, Even lost and died alone and unloved. The end. I've never seen an ending so accurate, while at the same time also being so deeply, deeply satisfying.
hated herself for fighting back. Almost as much as everyone else hated her too. a little girl, lost against a swarm of robots. She deserved to die. She earned it. Self-ending, and to her horror, she welcomed it.
It's done, Lamb. We've done it. The rest is up to you. And more robots are coming, love. Oh, so how does it work? You can only use it in your dreams, child. I have to fall asleep? My dream card. Of course. All I need to do is sleep. OK, even you can do this. It's like Uma taught you. Relax. Deep breaths. Relax. Deep breaths. Relax. Deep. Your Majesty. 